All right, so I'm standing here with Hickey, the executioner butler. Second time around we're doing the interview. First time I filmed it in slow motion. Uh, how are you doing? I looked good in the first one though. Yeah. Wow, slow motion talking. But I'm doing good. I'm feeling strong, feeling ready for the fight. Can't wait. Can't wait for the fight. And obviously another international opponent for you. So um, another hard one. Yeah, it's a new guy. guy from Thailand. Um, experienced, got a few fights. So it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a fight I need to prepare for the world title. You've had a few opponent changes in the, in the build-up to this fight. Has that affected your preparation? Yeah, definitely. My last opponent was a southpaw, so I was preparing for a southpaw. But that's boxing. You have to be ready for anything, ready for everything. And I think with my experience, I fought southpaws, I fought orthodox fighters. I'm sure I'll be ready. And of course, um, being back in South Africa again, we were, we were marketing your last fight to be the, the last one in South Africa. But you, 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 you're able to get a keep busy fights and box and boxing fight promotions. Are you happy fighting in front of your home fans? Yeah, definitely. It's, uh, I love fighting in front of my family, in front of my, my people, my fans. Um, I'm used to fighting overseas. I get booed there normally. Yeah, I get, get supported, so it's a bit different. But, but it is better. Um, I like to have my people around me and like my people watching me. It's just easier. And of course, so you've got to keep one eye on the next, uh, as we've been mentioning the whole time, in the build-up to this fight, is, it, there's bigger things at, at stake and uh, there's so much pressure on you to, to get through this one. No, definitely. I have to win. If I lose, I'll probably lose my rating. Um, so it's, it's a hard fight. It's, it's a hard fight mentally for me. I have to be ready and prepared. But I believe I can win. I believe I can, I can get up there and, and win the world titles again as well. And how's the motivation levels? I mentioned as well, um, you know, being young and aspiring to become a world champion is a, a, a sort of fuel, but also just trying to add more belts to the collection. Is that, is that the same level of motivation? Yeah, um, in boxing, you have to reset your goals every time. When I was younger, I wanted to go to the Olympics. That didn't happen, so my, my biggest dream was winning the Ring Magazine title. I did that. I had to reset my goals. Now I want to win every single organization that, that I can. That's a plan now. God willing, I can do it. I can be the first South African to do it. Um, if God is at my plan, that's what's going to happen and I want it to happen. So I'm working hard on, on achieving that and hopefully be the next WBC champion in a long time. That's, that's the first step to, to doing that. So what do you think of the opponent that you're going to get? I mean, you watched some of the footage of him earlier. I mean, what's, what's your opinion on every, of him? Um, typical Thai fighter, probably does some Thai boxing as well. Comes to fight, he throws a lot of looping shots, a lot of hard shots. But it's a good opponent, it's a good opponent that I need to keep me busy and ready for, for the main fight that I'm looking for in, in August. Of course, uh, people need to get their tickets and come watch the show live. Uh, Ticket Pro will be selling uh, tickets uh, available right now. Yeah, and, and the, the people from, from the event saying the tickets are selling out quickly. So people, please get your tickets from Ticket Pro. We need the support. All, we need all of you to come and watch. Even if you don't support me, if you support someone else, all of us need the support. Boxing needs the support. And it's, it's, it's a great show. There's great fighters on it. The two, probably the two top women fighters in the country fighting in the ball. DJ Creel, another fighter, ex-world champ. Getting in your fight, fighting, it's, it's, it's an amazing ball. It's a great fight. Up and coming guys, world champions, it, it's going to be a great show. And a quick comment on the promoter as well, Larry Weinstein. Uh, he's promised at least eight shows this year. It's showing some progression in South African boxing. Yeah, I, I, like I, um, I was, I was you, me and you, we were both there at his last show, the development tournament he had, which is a great show. Every fight was competitive, every fight almost went to distance. And this is another one of them. It's a show that he's, that he's put together that's good fighting, good boxers fighting each other. And I think the way that he's talking, the way he's, he's, he's pushing it, it it's going to happen. I think he wants it. He wants to continue it and he wants, he wants fighters to, 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 to gain out of it, not just himself. And of course, it is the night of champions. You'll be main headlining the bill, but you mentioned two of the female fights earlier. You also got a few other teammates on the bill as well. Are you, are, are you excited for their careers as well? Yeah, it, it's a great show. Like I said, it's, it's, like I said, it's up and coming guys. Get out. Like Caden, who's, who's having, who's the start of the tournament, is a great fight. I believe a future world champ. One, probably one of the greatest um, prospects we have in the country. Maybe in the world, it might be. Um, so it's going to be a great show for everyone fighting. It, it's great. But there's, I think, four from, from, from the whole picture fighting on the ball. So it's, it's great, great publicity for us. Great show. It's going to be amazing fighting. And for yourself, do you want rounds or do you want uh, the stoppage? Um, I fight, well, I, I take whatever happens, stoppage, rounds, whatever gets, I just go there to win. You know me, that's how I fight, I never make predictions. I, the only thing I say is I'm going there to win and that's it. How would you call your, 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 your training camp in its entirety? Does it, does it rank up with some of the other ones that you've had? Yeah, no, we've trained hard. Um, Collins pushed me, Scott's pushed me at the, at the yard, Athletic. My weight's getting perfect. Um, everything's just been going well, I've been training hard. 
I feel strong. I feel very, very strong for this one. Obviously, Colin's got a lot of boxes on the night. Have uh, you got enough uh, instructions from him, especially considering five opponent changes? Yeah, no, definitely. It's It happens in boxing. You have to be ready for anything. Um, and we've got good other guys here as well, with Shannon and, Sh and Sean helping out as well. So they've get, given their input. So everything's just, we've, we've clicked and it's worked nicely together. All right, Heki, can you give us a prediction on fight night? How do you think this one's going to go? It's going to be a good fight. Everyone come and watch and support us. Right. Never a prediction, right? I never give a prediction except that I'm going to win. That's, that's my prediction. Right. And it usually comes true. 99.9% .9 of the time. Uh, yeah, God willing, it keeps on going. And like I said, God willing, I can win more world titles. And I believe it's going to be a great show. So guys, please get your tickets from Ticket Pro and come watch us. That's the order of the day. Get your tickets and come and fill out the arena. Right next to Gold Reef City, the UNISA building. Um, so yeah. Any thank yous, any shout outs lastly from you, Hex? Um, thank you to all my sponsors, everyone on the show. Thank you guys. Without you guys, um, this dream, this journey that I'm doing, I wouldn't be able, able to do. Um, thank you for coming to watch. God bless all of you. Take care. Keep punching, guys.